Hello everyone, I'm Vinita and welcome to my channel Hopeful Turns. This is the third part of the crochet for beginner series and in this video I'll show you how to hold your yarn and your hook. So in crochet uh, you hold the hook in your dominant hand and the yarn in your non-dominant hand. Since I am a right hand crocheter, I'll hold my hook in my right hand and the yarn in my left hand. Now we'll see how to hold the hook. Now when you're holding the hook, there are basically two kinds of grips. One is called your knife grip like this as you hold a knife. Uh, this hook has a handle. So I'll show you one more hook without a handle. So this is a hook without a handle. Uh, and if you see in the middle, there is a slight curve here. So this here is your thumb wrist. So if you're doing a knife grip, so for that you have to uh, keep your thumb on the thumb rest and play, hold it like a knife. So this is your knife grip. There is another method to hold the hook that is the pencil grip. So you hold the hook like a pencil like you how you write it. So that is another way of holding your hook. I prefer the knife grip that works better for me. You can choose between them or you can have a modification of your own so i would suggest you to try out both the kinds of holes and whichever works best for you whichever you are feeling comfortable working with you can stick with that maybe sometimes you might figure out a way to do a combination of this thing everything depends on your comfort level so that was with respect to your hook now we'll see how to hold the yarn so i'll show you how i hold my yarn so for that, what I'll do is, this is my pinky finger, this is my pointing finger. I'll take my yarn through my pinky finger and then turn my hands like this. Then I'll place it around my pointing finger and loop it once. Then bring this end and hold it with the thumb and the middle finger. So this is how I like to hold my yarn. I'll show you once more. Now I'll take my yarn and go through my pinky finger. I'll turn my hands like this and take the yarn, go over my pointing finger and loop it once. Come here and hold the yarn with my thumb and my middle finger. So this is how I like to hold my yarn. And if you see here, this area here is called the workspace or this area here provides you the tension and if you are holding your yarn like this make sure that your uh, pointing finger is pointed up and straight if it comes like this uh, between your workspace you can see that there is no tension here so the stitches that you make will not have a proper tension it might be very loose or sloppy kind of a stitches so whenever you're holding your yarn, make sure that it is straight, it is stiff and it doesn't come between the workspace area. So this is one way of holding a yarn. Now there is another way which I know. So what in that way what you do is you weave the yarn through your different fingers. For that we start from this side and take your yarn like this and weave through your fingers come here like this and just like the previous method you loop it over your pointing finger and then catch hold of this yarn with the help of your thumb and your middle finger so this is another way i'll show it once again you weave it through your fingers like this and when and once when you come to your pointing finger make a loop and then hold your yarn with the help of your thumb and your middle finger so this is another way of holding your yarn now i have seen people um, rotating it quite a few times there will be a lot of loops here and then yarning uh, doing crocheting but i really don't have a clue i don't know how to do it but if you find this way of doing it comfortable then please go ahead and do it so this is another way that they loop it quite a few times and then crochet so this is another way of doing or holding the yarn so these are a few ways of holding the yarn 
Now, in case you found the methods that has been shown here difficult, please go ahead and explore other options also. You can find plenty of videos about how to hold the yarn. Just choose a method that works best for you. So that was all about how to hold the yarn and the hook. I hope it was helpful. Please do let me know in the comment box what kind of hold you prefer, whether you prefer the knife hold or the pencil hold. I would love to know that. And I really do hope that this video was helpful to you. If you found this video to be helpful, please press the like button. And if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. See you in the next video. Until then, bye. Thank you for watching.